How's it going, YouTube? Good morning, afternoon, evening, or good night. This is your boy, Viking Warlord, the stash. Boy, I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. I just took a little nap after my first class. Uh, yeah, we're about to start uh, the next week of Jimmy still being disabled. And we also have the wood still being buffed. Excuse me. So, I don't know if I have Discord. Let's see. Do I have Discord? No, I don't have Discord. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over real quick. Uh, boy, it sure takes forever to sell that, huh? Alright, so, lumber sells for $67.50 piece with 40 points so 67,500 and 400 points for 10 uh, wood is sells for 12,500 a bundle um, Pinot Noir wire wine is up uh, to 57,200 so um, you know wine builds this week are viable uh, realistically I'm probably gonna stick with my wood build um, I, I felt pretty good last week. Um, so Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Chardonnay, they're all getting buffed this week a little slightly. Pinot's getting buffed the most, but... Uh, Oak Barrel sells for 27500 a piece, which is 275000 for 10. And then Oak Wood sells for the same that Wood does. So we are going to... Go ahead and change servers now. Um, a side note, uh, Gala Games website will log you out. Uh, whatever it feels like you. So, uh, one thing that I've been instructed to do by the, uh, <laughs> by the, the moderators is to make sure that you're logged in. Uh, make sure that you're logged in soon before the competition. Excuse me, let me fix this. Thing. All right, this pissed me off. Sorry. Uh, make sure that you're logged in. So I have the two-factor, the two FA on there. So log out, log back in, put the code in, and that way you don't have to worry. Because it, it happened. I want to say it was one week in May Mayhem. Uh, I went to play. And I got logged out. And that was the most infuriating damn thing. Because it doesn't tell you. Um, you know, it just lets you... You can just stay playing Townstar even if you aren't logged in. Which I don't personally understand myself. But, like, if I'm not logged in, the screen should go away. Plain and simple. So, here we are. Countdown 20 seconds. I'm going to go for my old tried and true Kachasa. 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 We'll see. Um, I just don't feel like doing grapes, man. Like, I guess you could do grapes, but... Alright. I'm going to reload. Get my pasting fingers ready. So, this is basically just going to be a wood rush. Um... Reload again. There's no exact science to this anyway, by the way. There we go, 7085. And we're in. I'm dragging my screen over. Damn it, they took my spot. Um... Well, that was unfortunate. Uh, 
All right, I need to turn off all my auto cells. I keep forgetting that. So I didn't load in as fast as I wanted to. It sucks. Um. All right. Turn off all my auto cells. We're gonna refresh. Yeah, this isn't gonna be a good week. <laughs> I guess I'm just doing lumber this week, guys. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this sucks. Oh, man. This doesn't have any of the good locations. All right. Well, we're going to remove that. Remove that. Let's just start building lumberjacks. Uh, yeah, I, that was, you know, um, I didn't feel like I was slow to get in the game at all. That was odd. Um, that was really weird. I don't know, I, I, I guess I should have stayed logged in, or stayed not refreshing it. I don't know. Uh, but hey, it happens, man. Uh, we, uh... It is what it is. I'm going to adapt and overcome. So, my, um, my, let's see, hold on, we got to figure out where I need to sell to. Okay, I need to sell away from the water. Okay. So, right here, we're going to put. Remove this and we'll put another woodshed here just so I don't have to worry about overflow. We're gonna remove this, remove all these. We are going to put more ponds, so we're gonna remove this. Uh, basically, we're gonna grow all our wood right here, um, so we'll put our lumberjack houses right here lumberjack we will build some more um, wells because I know I'm gonna need that to uh, fill up these ponds quicker uh, we're gonna get rid of all these And I'm going to need to turn on auto sell on wood in a minute, but I'm going to manually do it for now until I get this party rolling. Right, move that. Right. We're going to sell. I'm not going to bother selling uh, the gasoline. So what I'm going to do real quick is uh, let that sell. Okay. All I care about is wood right now, so I'm going to go auto sell, and I'm going to turn on wood, and we're going to sell it at, uh, we're going to put it at five. That way, when I start doing lumber soon, that way when I start doing lumber soon, it'll have enough wood to, for the uh, lumber mill. Let's see what place I'm in, huh? 21st, yeah. We're going to speed this up. Okay, so I got water here. For those that don't know, you need to have uh, two ponds. Uh, what I'm going to do for now is just put one here. And I will put one here. And we'll go from there. I kind of have a build out I was working on last night before I went to bed. Um, I'm going to put my Mr. Puddles, uh, put some more Lumberjacks, Lumberjacks, we're going to put another, uh, another road here, once I get 50,000, 
I'll build the lumber mill, but I'm not going to activate it yet because we uh, we're going to remove this. We removed the silo already. We're going to add our builder house there. Okay. So I want uh, my robot. Put him there. Another lumberjack. And we're going to put a couple more. Another, put another well. Basically once I have this, I'll be able to put trees right here. So speeding this up is important. This is going to speed up in a second once I can start putting ponds here. So the good news is I've got 37 gas, which means I can sell uh, wood that many times, which is uh, this is a significant amount of money, but I realistically I want lumber mill. I want the lumber mill pumping out as soon as possible. For the lumber mill, I need to have, uh, I need to have energy. I need to have water barrels. So uh, let me, while I have a millisecond, let me... I want to see what's going on with this. There we go. All right. It's a little too too much. A little better. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my trees here. As soon as that activates, that pond is good. Uh, so one thing I am going to do is uh, we're going to put some, some roads. Right, so it streamlines the process. Then walking here. Now, an ideal world, I'd have one here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And I will put a pond there. Uh, we'll remove that one next. And then we'll take this guy and move him and streamline all of that um, obviously they're all going over here so they're taking longer to get the wood once I've once they've gotten all those trees out the way and I have my farm at the bottom we're just gonna want them constantly going to the farm that way uh, it's a bit streamlined so we're gonna remove this one that'll give me five they are walking hella slow I tell you that much all right, so notice I got down. See how it's red and blinking right here? The good news is I'm about to get paid, so that's not going to be a problem anymore. When you run out of money, your workers stop working. Okay, we're going to remove this. And I'm probably going to put my lumber mill right here. Put my lumber mill here. Um, we'll put uh, a water factory here. And we're going to need a warehouse, which we will put right here. So, lumber mill needs energy, wood, and water barrels. Um, and uh, once you get your build going, you put them by power plants. Because power plants already have water pumps there, and the power plants give you energy. Um, earlier on in the game, which is the stage we're at right now, you're going to have to have... Uh, a water factory which is what this is producing water barrels for the lumber mill and then you're going to have to have uh, you're going to have to have windmills producing energy uh, so you need a whole you actually need a lot more than you would think uh, you've got to have um, windmills or wind turbines, excuse me, producing energy. Then you've got to have. Uh, then you've got to have uh, a worker to to collect the energy. So I'm probably going to put a windmill here, windmill here, windmill here, maybe one here. So 
so that way I've got enough energy going. So something else I'm going to do, I'm going to add another lumberjack house. I'm going to extend this out because I'm going to put my, uh, I'm going to put my, uh, I'm gonna put my worker right over here. Put another lumberjack. I'm going to put my worker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait on the worker. Like I'm gonna let them make the worker. But we're gonna start with uh, start putting wind turbines. Okay. So I don't have anywhere to put the barrels right now. So I'm just gonna let him produce. For now, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, warehouse, I believe, costs fifteen thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Warehouse, fifty, it's ten thousand. Okay. So I want it far enough away so it's not gonna fuck up the wood production. Because uh, it is industrial, so it has pollution. But uh, we'll go ahead and put it right here. That's far enough away. So we'll put the wood warehouse there. See how this is built now? I'm going to wait. I'm going to let that sit. Because I don't want to waste the money. Because that's going to increase my employee count per hour. So if you look, uh, $50 a minute on the lumberjack is fine because the lumberjacks help produce wood right now. If you go to uh, industrial, the worker is 60 a minute. So that's $60 I don't need to spend right now until I get my windmills built. Once I have my windmills built, then, or wind turbines, excuse me. Once I have my wind turbines built, then we'll talk about, uh, so I want the wind, the wind turbines to be far enough away. So I'm going to put one here, which you need to have a road. So you basically, you build a road. I'm put another one here, and then I can build the wind turbine. And more than likely, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a second. Uh, I'm going to make a second um, worker house because you end up needing more energy than uh, than water barrels. So you see how they're making. They're making water barrels right there. They just drop them. They changed that person too. Huh. Okay. My warehouse is built. So now my water barrels are going to start going in there. Uh, we're going to let these four windmills be built. And then after that we will start. Uh, I'll put another pond here. Um, I'll probably demolish that. And then have these be enough wood production. Um. But yeah, that's we're getting excuse me. Those of you who don't know, this is a river. Okay. Notice how it's brown on the edge. Ocean will be white on the edge. Like think of salt, salt's white. Okay. So the water we're getting passive water from this river okay so I'm getting five water to this square four water to this square three water to this square two water to this square and one water to this square. so if you look you see how you see how this is like a lighter green that means there's no water getting there right this is producing a passive water around it one passive water the ponds produce two passive water immediately around them and one extra so wood requires seven water so for instance if I put one here it's gonna work because I'm getting the passive from here and I'm getting a passive from here see see how I'm getting this is giving me a passive water so eventually when I remove that and put a pond there I'll have enough um, I'm gonna bake this pond and demolish all this I want to streamline I want to streamline my wood my wood capturing so we're gonna put some uh, we're gonna put some dirt roads right here to just really make it easier for all of my lumberjacks to get the wood and bring it where I want it which is gonna be right here we're gonna remove this and we're gonna put one there and then 
got my turbines going. So now I got my turbines going. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and activate my worker and let him go pick up the wind turbines, which is gonna give us uh, the energy we need for the lumber mill. So I'm completely set up now for the lumber mill. I've got my water barrels, which you can see coming right here. This a new. This person looks different. Is it still a boy? Yeah, they just made him look different. All right. Uh, we're going to put my lumber mill here once I get to 50000 And then after that, I'm going to stop selling. Uh, I'm going to stop selling um, lumber. Or stop selling wood because I want to save the gas to sell lumber. And then I can use the lumber uh, to start building out my... Um, Building out my uh, my production. So I've got a I've got a decision to make. You know, in the scenario where I have a mountain, right, which is was supposed to be the plan. Um, I would push all of my energy production against the mountain. In this case scenario, I don't have the mountain anymore. So, uh, one alternative I could do is to um, put my, instead of using the passive water for the trees, I could put it, uh, put my trees in the middle. But I don't know if I want to do that. I think. If I tuck my energy production in here, I don't know. I don't know. I'm intrigued because I don't really know what to do yet. This is a this is a new. I never used this square before. Uh, so right now I'm not going to waste the money on demolishing these because I am producing enough wood right now where it's kind of okay. Um, and I'm not going to bother building. Uh, let's see, we have enough there. Yeah, alright. So, um, let's add for now. Add these. All right, so I need fifty thousand for the lumber. So after this next sale of wood, I should have enough for the lumber. So I'll go ahead and put lumber mill. I'm gonna let the water facility make this. Uh, I could put it somewhere else, but we're just gonna leave. It leave it for now. I'm going to have to manage how much space I have because the warehouse only has so much room. Um, so, that's pretty much it. This is going to be our intro to Wood Rusty. I'm ninth place right now. Alright. It's 8th, so 7th place. All right, so we really we got to get that lumber flowing. We get lumber up and going. We'll be good to go. Start start cruising for a bruising. Um, I could put another lumber mill here, probably. That'll be the next one I put. Um, in reality, I would demolish this. Put another pond here. And then I have all this as wood. Um, but I have enough wood. I think I have enough wood production right now. Uh, what is this? What the hell is that? Bro, I have no idea what's going on. Why does this dude look like that? You see that? He's like a... He's a little person. What is going on? Oh, this game is ridiculous. They keep changing these skins, and I have no idea why. All right. Um, 
so it looks like I don't have enough wood because I have somebody that's about to go to sleep. So I thought I had enough. So we're going to go ahead and demolish this. Uh, one of the easier uh, strategies you can use uh, in the beginning of the game is to uh, put one... If you have if you have a river and you have the five passive, you put one pond, and that'll give you the two water you need to make seven water for these first three. So that's why I have these spread out like that. Okay, no, he wasn't going to sleep. All right. All right so I got twenty, and if I'm selling lumber for uh, what I should be selling lumber for. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make one more uh, woodshed just so that I have enough room. Alright, so lumber is going to sell for 67500 Okay, which if I have 10, if I have 20 of those, if I have 10, that's 675000 That's plenty. So what I'm going to do is let this, I'm going to keep selling wood until I get that second lumber mill. Once I have the second lumber mill, then I'll have enough production, I feel like, to get, uh, let me stop, let me stop him, I don't want to, uh, run out of water, or I don't want to run out of space, because I have too much water barrels being produced, so, it depends on where you're at in the game, in game, mid game, early game, whatever, but I can guarantee you, just about, Unless you have it perfectly fine-tuned, you are constantly balancing. You're constantly paying attention to the number of wood that are being produced versus the number of barrels versus the number of energy. Now, when we get this set up properly, I'm not going to have to worry about water barrels or energy. But for right now, in the beginning, you most certainly do. Because I don't have the power plant set up yet. And my first goal is going to be to get those power plants set up, obviously, because I want, um, I gotta, I gotta get gasoline. You have to be able to start producing your own gas. That is your first major hurdle, is gasoline production. Anyway, alright, lumber mill, here we go. I'm gonna make another builder. Just to speed this process up. And I'm probably going to stop at 15 gas. And stop selling uh, wood. Which also means I'm probably going to have to manually flush. So you see this flush right here? It basically just wipes whatever's in there out. So I'm probably going to have to start doing that. <clears throat> I don't want to waste all my gasoline on, on just wood. I want to start selling lumber. So what I'm going to do, please watch my video on the uh, scripts, uh, is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to uncheck my lumber and I want to sell lumber at 10. So I'm not keeping anything over 10. If you notice here, I'm keeping at least 5 wood. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn wood off. For right now later on I'll bring that back online but when I'm done editing I'm gonna hit file and hit save I'm gonna close and I'm going to need to reload the web page after this sells see I have 15 gas that's where I want to stop so I'm gonna reload the page now so my script gets reloaded in which is gonna stop selling wood and exclusively sell lumber for now eventually I will bring that back up as a failsafe for uh, maintenance of inventory. If, but once I can produce my own gas, and I won't be worried about running out. So I've got 39,000. I've got this lumber mill. Let's turn him back on. And I just can't get over that. They're small. So stupid. Why? 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 can't tell me why so what I was getting at earlier is you want your you know you want your pollution your uh, your power plants and all that as far away 
from uh, as far away from your growing items as possible which is why I was talking about pushing everything to you know up here um, in my free play I have all my uh, power plants down here using uh, the, the water as it's uh, as the, the, the I put my water pump against the water so you can you can put a water pump like right here and if you look at water pump it has to be placed uh, near a water source so a pond or in this case a river you can also use the ocean so I'm gonna flush that because I do have too much production we're also going to remove this and we're going to make another uh, another worker because we want to get that get those batteries faster so um, I want to put the lumber mill here so I don't want to waste that we'll get rid of one of my lumberjacks because we are producing so much wood right now and we'll put a worker house there and again I have to constantly watch and make sure see I have I have too much wood So I'm going to run out of space to where my uh, lumber mills can't produce um, so when they produce that lumber there's no room there's nowhere for it to go they will drop it so I'm going to go ahead and sell one gas or one more wood Because unfortunately I've got too much. Which means I'm going to start getting rid of these lumberjacks. <sighs> Get rid of two for now. So the woodshed only stores ten. Number yards way better. I am running out of space, so I'm going to go ahead and make another uh, woodshed. I need enough to get that first cell out of the way. So the key is to not let any lumber get in the woodshed that has just wood because then when you flush it you don't lose you don't lose the lumber if I were to flush these I would lose a lumber which would defeat the whole purpose um, I'm hoping that uh, these workers will speed up I'm gonna give them a little help and put some roads to speed up their walking uh, there's only so much I can do but again this is not an end game build so this is wood I'm gonna flush but I can't so again it's about balancing I'm constantly watching at least right now until I have it on autopilot I'm gonna get rid of these for now because I don't need them but eventually I will put them back wasting a good bit of money on these but it's okay all right see there's lumber now on all of these I need two more lumber so once again I'm gonna be forced to make 
another woodshed. So I'm running low on energy, but I'll do my best to keep this woodshed clean. I need two more, two more lumber. So I need three more energy, basically. And there's one. So this will be my ninth lumber right here. And I'll go ahead and turn our water barrel back off because you can see we're out. Uh, we're officially out of water drums now. Okay, I'm going to flush this, keep that clean. Which is basically this should just tell you that I have enough. Uh, I have too many lumberjacks, which is fine. I will keep removing them as I need to. Um, and as I sell lumber, I'm going to make more lumber mills. That way. Just need room for one lumber in there, guys. Come on now. Don't make this difficult on me. All right. Last thing. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Let's go. Boom. Selling lumber. All right. Now we're on to stage two. And that's going to sell right now. Boom. All right. So now we're going to put another uh, lumber mill here and we're going to flush all of these because I don't have any lumber left. I'm going to flush after they grab, after they grab, uh, so Got to do a better job of keeping this organized. I don't want to waste any more gasoline on selling wood. I only want to sell lumber. So I'm going to get rid of another uh, another lumberjack. And we'll go from there. I really got to figure out what I'm going to do, where I'm going to put my gasoline at. Um, you know, if I treated it like I do with the mines, where the mine the mines are all along here. And I had the road. I could put lumber mills all over there. But they wouldn't get any water. So kind of stuck. If I just put a road against the backside. And then put my power plants and my water pumps. I could do two rows of that. But that would be a really far really far for the lumberjacks to walk because they would have to pick the wood and go all the way over here um, I don't know I don't know this is gonna be interesting I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to think on this I'm going to use, uh, use Citadel of the Wind to figure out what I'm going to do. So, like, let's turn this on. I'll flush this one. While I was pondering, I wasn't paying attention. All right. 
Water bowels are producing. It's good. I'm going to go ahead and let's see if we can pull Citadel up for you guys. So yeah, this is what I was looking at last night. Like this would be my, you know, with mountains. Because I would have, you know, I would have all these mines along here, right? Well, in this case, I don't have that. So, <clears throat> see how far away the wood would be to make it all the way up here? To where, you know, look if I had it. Lumber mills right here. Right, they gotta walk. They gotta cut the wood and come all the way up here. You want them producing. You want to get into lumber as fast as possible. So, what if I made this back row? Let me check on the map real quick. Flush some more wood. Okay, what if I made this back row uh, like all lumberjack houses? You know what I'm saying? Make all that. And then I could do like I do with silica could do that I like that I think that's gonna work better alright but treat this like I treat silica if I do something like this that would still give the wood room to breathe and not have to worry about uh, being poisoned by the pollution. So I don't need warehouses anymore. Uh, I mean, I'm going to need one while I'm building. But... I think that'll work. I like that. I like that. Okay, I got one lumber in there. Okay. Best case scenario, I'd make a lumber yard. Okay. Uh, if I made a lumber yard, it would store 20. I just I know it's not a permanent location, so I don't want to I don't want to make it the lumber yard and then. But right now, where money is still important to be done properly. Um, all right, let's go back to Citadel. Sorry, I'm brainstorming here with you guys, but I mean, I figure you'd like to think my process as well, or you can appreciate uh, what I'm thinking about. Alright, so, I think we put it in here. An eye on the wood. I got. Well, I need one more lumber, and I'm running behind on water barrels. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flush all of these. 
And yes, this is wasteful, but it's okay. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make another water facility. Now, water facilities do not... Hold on, guys. Let me get this off for you. Okay. Water facilities do not cause shade, so you can put them right next to crops, trees, and they won't interfere, which is really nice. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, I have enough wood. My, my lumberjacks are working very well. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, what am I going to do? Build another lumber mill? Might as well. I don't want to spend the money on, right now, I don't want to spend the money on demolishing trees if I can help it because I need that money to get my uh, gas production going. So I'm just going to go ahead uh, if I wanted to not worry about water barrels I could Demolish that, put a pond, demolish that, and put a pump. But that would cost way too much money. Right now, anyway. So. Now we'll have enough water barrels. I was going to put another uh, warehouse right here as a backup uh, I kinda got enough windmills for now make one here Go ahead and add another builder back in, and I'm not going to remove it this time. I'm going to leave it. Uh, yeah, so back to Citadel. I'm flush. Let that guy put it in and flush it. Tenth place, wow. I'm so slow. <laughs> Alright, well, it is what it is. I'm not worried about placing right now. Um let's go back to Citadel and what I can do obviously I can put more more lumberjacks I think this is too many in all fairness so we'll see but let's figure out how I would lay out so you only need uh, two energy you only need two energy for lumber mill to work right so hold on. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get one of those pads where I can just go between screens eventually but right now I don't have the money uh, if you guys want to buy me one by all means you can buy me a, one of those uh, streaming pads where I can switch between screens um, so it has to be next to uh, hold on. let me flush that Flush, flush. All right. So just to cover my own butt again, I'm gonna go ahead and build another woodshed right here. What's nice about the woodshed, although it is cheaper, it doesn't require anything, and it you don't have to wait. Uh, it's four seconds and it's built. So another reason why early on it's not worth the struggle of worrying about doing a lumber yard. Okay. 
So once I get my next cell of lumber, I will go ahead and put another lumber mill. And I'll have five. And I think that'll be good enough. I've obviously got enough wood production still because I'm still getting wood put in the woodsheds by the lumberjacks. So I haven't reached the limit of their capacity yet. And again, that's about that's about making this as, as efficient as possible, right? Like these trees are constantly growing. Especially right now, they're growing every 10 seconds. So that's part of the, the buff for this week is that they reduce the time that it takes to grow. But, uh, you know, jump on the road, go bring it. So, um, all right, back to Citadel. So, I, I mean, this is plenty of plenty of lumberjacks. Uh, if we were to look at my... Where did I put it? Um, in my pictures? Yes. Alright. If we were to look at my build out, um, my build out that was for. Nope, that didn't do it. I'm trying to find the picture. show you guys real quick. Man. trying to share with you guys as much as I can you know what I mean like I'm not I'm not really in a rush right now to get all this going I mean I'm in a kind of just a letting it sell phase right so I just sold <clears throat> go ahead make my lumber mill so now you see this got slowed down by that woodshed but uh, necessary evil I'll probably remove that in a second once I get Oh, the lumber went in? No, lumber got flushed. Oh, well. Lumber got flushed. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm looking for... Not capturing. It's not capturing. Yeah. All right. Well. Anyway, I was trying to get my uh, build last bit up. I'm looking at my last build. I didn't have near as many lumberjacks. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I had 34 lumberjacks. If we look at the Citadel layout right here, 16 and 16 is 32, 32 and 16 is 40. I'd have 48 plus all these on the side. That's way, that's way too many uh, lumberjacks for what I, for what I have. So. The question then becomes, well, how do I maximize, right? So, lumber needs the water. That's kind of the that's kind of the the binding factor here, is that the water is going to slow us down. We got to make sure that we can obviously put the uh, we put the lumber mill where it can get a water barrel from. Uh, can get a water barrel from the uh, 
can get a water barrel from the water pump. So, um, let's just start. Let's just start throwing stuff out there. Let's say I keep this, all these, right? So I probably wouldn't need any down here, because that's still that's a that's a lot of lumberjacks. Excuse me. So as long as long as I have water, I don't need these. I don't need these. As long as I have water like this, I'll be able to grow trees as high up as I want. Okay, does that make sense? Because that'll give me, if you look right here, it gives me seven water. And that's what I need. This gives me 13 water. Okay, you can't. When you when you put your mouse over a square, it'll pop up a little box. You guys can't see that on mine, but it tells me what type of it is. So in this case, it's grass, and it's got a water of 13. So if I were to do something like that, I would need enough. Uh, I would need enough lumber mills to, to, you know, to push that. I think my son is up. Give me a second, guys. I will be right back. Nah, screw that. We're keeping it on. The, we keep the live stream on. All right, yeah, Carson's up uh, eating cereal. So, uh, as you can see, we've got plenty of water. What I'm probably going to do is stop. Stop that guy. Okay. Um, so, back to Citadel. Um... these so what I have to worry about now is pollution right I can have all this that's great but uh, you know pollution it's gonna be pollution so this would get nine water I could have That's why. I was like, there's no way I have that much water. So there wouldn't be a not, not enough water for it right there. Okay. So let's say I'm putting... Let's flush... 
flush all of these. Again, I still have plenty of wood. Uh, obviously. Go ahead and make another lumber mill. So I've got 10. I've got 10 uh, gas left, which means I'm going to be able to make 6,700 or 670,000 dollars if I've got 10 six, dollars which is plenty enough to make uh, plenty enough to make my my gas production sorry I keep forgetting I have a citadel up okay so click on my trade depot Lumber sells for 67500 for 10. I've got 10 gas, so I can sell 10 more times, which will give me $675,000, which is plenty of enough money to... Uh, plenty of enough money to uh, make my gas selling, my gas processes. processes. Alright, so I'm out of the top 10 now. We're going to let this build, and then... Uh, Once that's up, I'll go back to Citadel. I'm also going to go ahead and add one more worker because there are windmills sitting still and there's not a worker grabbing it. So that'll help me with my lumber for now. So, let's go back to Citadel. Um, I can probably put my... Put that there. Right? See, the thing is, you want it to be as efficient as possible. Right, so if I did something like this, if I did something like this, even though I'm wasting space, it's going to streamline their process of getting the wood, which is what we need. We need it to be as streamlined as possible. So, put wood here, and again, wood. Tree farms need seven water. Yeah, that's a lot of trees. That's what, 12, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 29, 29 and 12, that's 41. That's plenty of trees. Okay, so now we have to figure out how we're going to do this. And this is where it gets interesting, right? Because we're going to have pollution from the uh, power plant. So I only need two energy. Right? So this orange is two. See, that's too close. Now, for my gasoline production, I'd probably do something like that. Right? Do something like that. See, I've got one dead spot. Dead spots are going to be okay because what we're going to do is that's where we'll put a lumber mill. Or uh, that's where we'll put a... Uh, that's where we'll put uh, the, the uh, lumber yards. 
So let's do this. I got 31 wood. Can I flush some of these? Yes, I can. Hold on. Flush this. Flush that. That's got lumber in it. That's got lumber in it. Alright. Good. We we'll just need one more to sell. And let's go back to Citadel. Um, we're going to put our refineries here. Uh, take one of these and put my fuel tank. Usually you put your fuel tank in front of the gasoline, right? So, all right, we just sold that. Good. Now let's flush all of these. Make room. All right. And we will go ahead and turn back on this one just for now. We'll keep an eye on my water barrels. Sorry, I forgot you guys can't see. Damn it, that's annoying. <laughs> uh, what I was doing was turning, I turned this water facility back on. Because I've got four water drums, so keep it going. Energy production is moving a little bit faster now, which is good. Okay, back to Citadel. So I've got my water pumps here. So what that basically means is anywhere that there's orange, I can put a lumber mill, and it will have enough energy. So I could do something like this. Right. I can put a uh, and put a builder in there if I really wanted to. Okay. So this is getting water drums from here, right? So, I'll put that there, and I could put lumber sheds here, right? Then, I just need to figure out where I'm going to put my next power plant. Because again, we gotta have it like this, right? So if I did something like this, I could have a lumber, uh, lumber shed, lumber yards here, right? So, the problem with this is I don't have enough uh, water barrels. So, what we would do is we'd add another like this. Which, in reality, what we could do instead is just put a lumber mill there. Lumber mill. Okay. So, what if we did this? That way I can have a hundred so I can sell. That needs a road. Okay. That would give me a hundred and twenty. That'd give me 120 storage. Uh, dirty. So yeah, that's perfect. If I go any lower with these, 
it would get in the way of the tree farms, which is fine for now. I can worry about that later. Um, and then if I do end up putting uh, more lumberjack houses, I could. Because lumberjack needs a, a space of two. So watch. See, now it's that's slightly affected. If I need to. Okay. Pretty happy with that. We'll trial and error this sucker out, alright? Uh, I gotta remember what my next class is. <laughs> uh, flush that. Flush. Okay. So what I do need to do is make sure. I think my class starts at 12:30. I could be wrong. I thought it was 1:30. I'm gonna have to check. I don't want to. I can't be late for class. It is 12:30. Okay. So I am gonna have to go cut this video short soon. But uh, uh let's go over real quick what the plan is. Uh, now I'm starting to accrue crew uh, enough money what I'm going to do is we'll start doing it right now uh, if you remember Citadel I'm counting I'm looking at Citadel right now um, five squares down one two three four five okay I'm going to put a paved road there paved road here Paved road here. And that's where I'm going to start my... Uh, I'm going to start my uh, gas production. I'm also going to add these wells back in. So that way, when I build my um, when I put my ponds in it won't be a problem I am gonna add back in I'm gonna add a couple more um, builders speed this up okay and that's not going to affect anything. And get this going. I'm going to remove this. Alright, so once I have that built, uh, four from the edge is going to be my, my tank. So my tank's going to go right here. Uh, what we'll also do is I'll put some... Uh, I'll go ahead and put um, my... Uh, go ahead and put my uh, crude oil pumps right now. Get them going. We're going to need some more worker houses. I can tell you that right now. Uh... Actually, let's do this. Put this here. And we'll demolish this instead. Alright. And... Put that there. We're going to need some more workers. So I'm going to go ahead and add a road right here, demolish this, so go ahead, industrial worker, remove this one. So again, this is a feature they added in. If you click on a building now, you can actually see who it is that is that building. So if she doesn't have anything, I'm going to remove her. And I'm going to put a worker there. So now I'll have... 
more workers. And in all fairness, I have enough wood, so I will remove that as well. I'm going to put another worker here. Because I know what's going to happen is I'm going to start... The, the They're going to be picking up the crude oil instead of the energy. So we need as many of them as possible. But yeah, once these roads get built, uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, I'm going to put my ponds in. Uh, the pond is going to go across from where the water tank is. So the water tank's going, or the fuel tank's going here. So my pond's actually going to go right here. Ironically enough, where I have this wind turbine. So, if anything, I might, once this is built, I might stick it over there for a second. I just put that there and I'm going to have to remove it anyway, but. It's all good. That's it. Uh, I'm going to cut this video out right before I start class. So don't think it's you guys. It's, it's I got to go. Um, what I will do is... Once I will be playing during class, don't tell my teacher. Um, but I'm not going to record while I'm in class. But I will come back in and make a short little catch up video with you guys, follow up video, uh, showing you what's going on whenever, uh, whenever I get to that point. Uh, when I get done with class, I'll come in make another video. And then when I'm in the editing, I'll smash the two together uh, so you guys can kind of see where I'm at. But I, mean, I feel like it's very straightforward at this point. I've got seven gasoline left. I'm selling lumber, not selling wood, using that money to build out where my gas is going to go, which you saw in Citadel, my kind of tentative plan for where everything's going to go. So um, I feel like it's, you know, I hate the term, it's not rocket science, right? But this... The wood, this is the easiest startup of any, of at all. I, this is so, like, just producing wood and not stopping. Excuse me. I'm still holding on to 11 right now, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, and once I get this beast rolling where I'm not going to have to worry about the water barrels or energy, it's certainly going to take off. Okay. So like I said, I'm putting uh, I'm putting the gas tank four and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So we're gonna put the uh, fuel storage right there. Thought I had more builders. Forgot I deleted one. We're gonna add another one in. Builders you can place anywhere. They don't have to be by a road, which is which is nice. So you can put, stick them stick them anywhere. Uh, they do affect crop growth, so you don't want to put them by crops. Um, once this is done, I'm gonna put one here for now. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to remove this one, put the pond, put the water pumps, and yeah, this is gonna be a paved road as well. So delineate that. This is gonna be a paved road as well. I think, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna do roads down this whole side. The one thing I didn't add in was where I was going to put my uh, forklift, so uh, I'll throw that in there somewhere later. Forklift will be for uh, doing my crude oil. So, All right, tanks done. 
So now they should be bringing all this crude oil to that tank, which will be nice. And um, I do a little trip right here. I want them to, since they're right there, I added that road in there so I could put that turbine. So even though they're going to finish building this road, they can put that wood right there instead of having to go get more. Alright. We're going to remove this. And we're going to put a pond now. Okay. And... Yep. This is going to be... gonna be like that like this and like that and like this we're gonna remove this put that over there that'll help speed up the water keep checking my clock so I know I'm good fetching water once that's built I'm gonna put my uh, two water pumps here and then from there uh, the power plant must have a water pump right next to it not adjacent to it so the water pumps are gonna go right here and right here and then my power plants are gonna go here and here and yeah we, we getting there um, I feel like what I'm going to do now is put a warehouse right here just so I have another one so I can let those water barrels keep producing um, and yeah I think this is we're getting close to being self-sustaining so uh, on that note, sell this lumber. I need one more water bucket. Right. And you notice how this is not affecting the wind turbine because it doesn't create any shade. So that's good. You can have those all by each other. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and turn... Well, I'm going to leave that alone. Um, I guess that's it, folks. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off now. Um, like I said, I will, uh, after class, I'll come back in, kind of fill you in, show you what I've got going. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay, so, like, I'm going to put my water pump here. After my next cell, I'll put the other water pump. I'll go from there. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Uh, follow up video in a little bit. I know it's a longer video, but I don't know if I'm going to speed up much of this because I was talking the whole time. You don't hurt my feelings if you speed up or pause it just to see, you know, whatever. Uh, this is to help you guys. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, put it below. And uh, I will see you guys after my class. This is like in Warlord. The stash needs to take a shower. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, let's try that again. All right, audio's up. What's going on, YouTube? Good morning, afternoon, evening, good night, wherever you happen to be. It's like in Warlord. The stash coming to you live from the epicenter of a hurricane. You know, uh, ta da! So, uh, needless to say, uh, I will be cutting this short.
I won't be recording the end of the weekly tournament. Um, I'm going to shut my computer down before it hits. That way I don't have to worry about my battery backup running out. And I'm not going to be here with it. I'm going to be at uh, my sister's house with my son. Uh, so, unfortunately, I'm not going to place anyway this week in the top 100. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm not, not losing any sleep over it. Uh, interesting week. I'll try and go into it as much as I can. Try and keep this thing as short as possible. I'm going to smash the first video, the first part of this video with this part. Get it uploaded before I leave here. Um, we've got a couple hours before the bad stuff gets to us, thankfully. So I'm not in a rush rush, but I don't want to be driving on the road with, you know, hurricane force winds hitting the side of my truck. So, uh, go ahead and jump right into it. I just wanted to show you guys the, the radar. This is what I'm dealing with. Uh, I think it just made landfall. Um, but as you can see, thankfully we're on the west side of it. For those of you who don't know about hurricanes, the west side is always the weaker side, at least in the upper hemisphere. Um, so the right side, as you can see, is the eye is right here. You can see that the right side is what's got all the the powerful weather. You can see this is always the scariest when you see this visual. You see that giant eye right there. So being on that wall of the eye is the scariest part, and that's the worst damage that's going to happen. So thankfully, I'm over to the west, and unless it takes a sharp hook west, which it doesn't look like it's going to, we should be good. Um, so yeah, uh, go ahead and I'm going to take that down, give me a second. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you my build for right now. Um, you may notice some new things, we're not going to talk about that, it's all secrety secrets. Alright, so yeah, here's my wood build. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the square that I wanted, uh, which if we look at where I'm at, I'm right here, and ah, I was so excited until I realized that this sucker was going to take, takes two gas to sell uh, my 100 lumber, which means I have to have more gas production than I wanted, which is two or three uh, lumber uh, logger houses that I can't have. Um, I'm using a different script now. Top secret. Shh, won't tell anybody. Uh, but I can't be clicking on the screen. So if you see me clicking off the screen, that's why uh, for it to auto sell. Um, this is not what it looked like originally. This is the. Uh, the bastard stepchild of two or three other people's inputs along with my thought processes I came up with the uh, I came up with this it actually to me works pretty good I'm sure there's better versions of it but you've got the one pond the two water pumps feeding your uh, power plants and then that's enough to feed water barrels to all of these lumber mills um, I'm sure Hypothetically, you could put more lumber mills and then just have a water water facility. But I didn't feel like doing that. Uh, this is the side where I have my refineries. So you can see I have my gasoline production there. My petroleum here. Got my two water pumps. They're all getting their water barrels. So that brings my grand total of lumber mills to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 lumber mills. And I'm averaging 32 lumber a minute, so not terrible. Uh, certainly better than I was with the setup I'm about to show you. The setup I'm about to show you, I was getting 26 to 27 lumber a minute. And uh, if we look at that, let me pull, pull this up. So this is kind of what I had originally. You can see I had the long rows of... Uh, uh, lump logger houses so this looks really good but it just because it looks good doesn't mean that it's efficient and even though it looks nice long long enough to realize that 
this is actually better if you look at the way I have this spread out it looks chaotic but every single every single logger house has a road next to it now if this were like a silica build I would probably use the same same style instead of doing the rows like I was doing I would do a block like this because um, I'm able to get if you want to count the logger houses one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so this row is two one three one three one that's five five three three five five hold on be right back All right. Last minute hurricane arguments. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, if you see, uh, it's basically broken down into uh, a row where there's 11 and there's rows there's 15. So you see here, there's two, then it's one, then three, then one, then three, then one, right? Then the next row is five, space five, space three. The row below that is space 5, space 5, space 3. And then the row below that is the exact out. So basically there's two styles, and then they flip into the next two rows. And then this last row, you can put all loggers. Obviously, I've got my oil pumps there. But if I didn't have oil pumps, like let's, for instance, let's say this was a, a desert build where I had the oil seep. I wouldn't have to have that. I could have all logger houses, or in the case of a silica build, all uh, all uh, forklifts. Thank you. So very interesting. Um, and you see here my wood. I'll go back to what I had on uh, back to what I had on here. You can see my wood. I had it nice and neatly, like pretty organized. I had, uh, you know, I had my rows, and I had, you know, the going down. It was all this. It looks fantastic, but you're wasting space, and there's only so much space. And that's what you find is that these upper echelon, upper tier builds, there's no wasted space. Everything is is there for a reason. It's in the right spot. So, you know, I kind of. I got away from this and <clears throat> now we've got this so overall I mean <clears throat> as I always say it's a learning experience every week I'm trying to learn something new and whatever I figure out or try to figure out or whatever you guys learn from me that's the whole point from this is to share knowledge. Um, so, waiting on this to auto sell. Come on, Shug. There we go. All right. So, unfortunately, I didn't get uh, I didn't get the mountain that I wanted. I wanted to do oak barrels this month or this week. Didn't happen. It is what it is. I panicked and just picked this one because I, I thought I'd be good enough and I actually screwed myself because it took cost like I said it's costing me two gas to uh, to sell um, but everywhere you see a tree it's getting seven water and the original build that I was show shown actually extends all the way over to this row but because I've got this here because I've got my freight pier and it's casting sh uh, pollution or shade whatever I think it's pollution dirty it's casting dirty over here uh, I didn't start the build the way it should have been so this is a modified version of what I was shown but it's working working pretty good I, I must admit um, we got our little little small lumber uh, logger house guys we got our super small super small uh, <laughs> lumber mills um, but yeah that's that's the gist of it guys um, as much fun as the wood build was it's so quick the leaders identify themselves like right away and you're just always trying to chase at that point you know this isn't a 
We're not using the upper tier products. This is lower tier products. Lumber does not take very much to produce, you know. I mean, for those of you that don't know, it takes four wood, two energy, and one water drum. So once you get your gas up, you can put power plants, right? And the power plants are giving passive energy to all of these. The water, uh, the water pumps are giving passive energy to all of the uh, lumber mills. So you don't have to have the water facilities. You don't have to have windmills anymore. It's all just running itself. Um, I don't want to say it's not a challenge because clearly there's still... I mean, I'm not... Let's look at the rankings. I'm uh, 129. Yeah, I don't know how far down I'm going to sink before this ends because I'm going to stop soon. But, you know... I had some technical. If I had, I came back home and the computer was off, so I missed like eight hours of of of, of it going. Don't know. I don't know where I would have ended up, but I. Excuse me. I don't think I'd have made it in the top 100. Not without oak oak barrels. But it's all good. This was the learning experience. I, I changed. You know, I, I changed my build up twice after the first day and I'm definitely making more lumber than I was uh, but you know all the those precious minutes are all gone where you're not making as many stars as you need to to stay relevant but yeah I'm gonna go back real quick I don't want to show you uh, I want to show you the other thing I have up here so this is kind of what I designed with the water, and if you ever if you haven't used Citadel of the Wind, I have a tutorial that I made. It's in my playlist. But when you hover over the squares, it'll pop up and tell you what type of square it is. In this case, it's grass, but it shows you where there's water, um, and that's kind of how I had to build my. Excuse me. I had to build mine like this. To keep there, were, there was seven water everywhere, but you know, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna save this, so I have a copy of this. Um, obviously, I'm gonna save this build out, uh, and you know, I'm gonna try. I, I have no idea what next week's gonna be like. A, because I don't know what's gonna happen with this hurricane. I don't know how long we're not gonna have power, not gonna have internet. Um, I would like to hope that I'll be back online Tuesday morning, but I can't guarantee that. Uh, I, I may be sitting out this week, or I may at least, I may by the time I get into the tournament, it's not going to be worth doing because I'm not going to be able to get anything, get a good spot or anything. So, fingers crossed. We'll see. Uh, don't know for sure, but as always, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, comment on the this video. Uh, with my update if I've got one um, if I find out what the next buff and nerfs are for next week before the week starts I'll post on here so that you guys know um, as always I appreciate you watching if you have any questions comments concerns put them down below uh, I'll do my best to answer uh, my phone decided the screen on my phone decided to uh, well it's off right now but uh, you know, like the warnings you get for, like, this can cause epilepsy? That's what this screen's doing right now. Just strobing and flickering. It's Matter of fact, I'm going to turn it on just so you guys can see. There we go. No, you don't want to turn it on? There we go. That's what it's doing. So, needless to say, uh, not using it. So, <laughs> give me a give me a seizure right here. So anyway, uh, I keep you guys in the loop as best I can. I appreciate you watching as always. This is Lycan Warlord, the Stash. You guys take care, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.